Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson from Mr. Anderson's online studio. Today we're going to be talking a little bit how to do larger scale kind of tunings. This is something that I would prefer to be done mostly by parents. Um, I don't usually teach this to students until they're older, sometimes middle school age. Um, and it de sometimes depends on the person and you know, how strong they are and whether they can really make these pegs up here stick the way that they need to. Now, let's get into the lesson. How many times has this ever happened to you? You are getting your instrument out of the case or your child's instrument, get, they get it out of the case and they pluck the strings and it sounds something like this. Obviously, these are extremely out of tune and very, very loose. So, tuning it down here with these little tuners isn't really going to do anything for you. Also, sometimes you might be a little bit, you might be very close to being in tune, but when you turn the screw, you find out it's all the way in or all the way out and it doesn't turn anymore. Now, what we're going to need to do is learn how to use these to help us tune the instrument. Okay, so these are our tuning pegs, which are for much larger scale tuning than this is. Now, the important thing about tuning pegs on a violin, viola, and a cello is that they're only held by a little hole, and they're made of wood, and so every time you crank on these things, it's tightening the string and loosening it back up. So the more we do this, and the more we do it too many times, we might wear out the string and cause it to break. This is why I don't want students to do this, just parents. Now, if anyone's ever done a get, played a guitar before, um, or ever to, turned the pegs on a guitar, such as this one that I've got right here, these turn very, very easily. I'll take that pick out of there. No problem. Now, the pegs on a violin, viola, and cello are completely different. Bass pegs on a, on a large double bass might be a little bit more like this. Um, but on a violin, viola, and cello, they're made completely differently. If all I do is just turn lightly on this string right here, I get... Every time I turn it back up and let go, it goes right back down. And the more I do that, the more it's going to wear on the string, and that can eventually snap it. So what needs to happen when we turn one of these is you need to check to make sure that the, the string that you're trying to tune, you need to make sure you know which peg it goes to. So the E string on this one goes to that peg. So when I turn this one, I need to remember to push it in while I'm turning it, just to keep it in place. And do this very, very slowly. This one's a little creakier. I think it's an older instrument. All right, now I've got it pretty close to the E string. I'm still using my Bandmate app that I showed in my last video. Um, and now I've got it really close. Now I can just use the fine tuner to figure out the rest in order to get this string perfectly in tune. There I got it. The A string will go to this one right here. I'm going to get that a little higher and now tune it up with the, with the fine tuners, the screws on the bottom. So that's how I use the fine tuners. The biggest, most important key is to remember to push in while you're turning it and, and don't let it roll back down. That's why it takes someone with a little bit more strength to do it. Um, it's especially important on a cello. Uh, 
Viola and violin will be very similar. It's just that the strings are different, if you remember from the last video. So they're going to be in a different order up here, as will the cello. Um, so, but the important thing on the cello is when we do this one, it takes even more strength and sometimes will lead to a little bit more frustration. I remember my first several years of even trying it, I couldn't even get it to stay. So it's important that, that someone who can really push is the one that does this for right now. Okay, so that's the important thing. So that's generally how you use pegs in order to do large scale tuning and then in the last video you also learned how to do smaller more exact tuning using the screws on the bottom and the bandmate app or any sort of tuning app or device that you would like to use excuse me they should all work generally the same way so i hope this helps you in these um in these times that you and your child are home for a long time, don't have teachers readily available all the time, and you want to make sure that you still have the opportunity to practice. I don't want it to be an issue that, that the strings being really out of tune makes you unable to practice. So this is going to help you to make sure that you still get that very, very important practice time in. So I hope you enjoyed these two videos. Um, I hope I didn't make them too long, but I think they're all pretty important. So I thank you for listening, and I will be back with more lessons. Thank you.